Okay. I got the car jacked up. Next, I'm just gonna take off this bar. Where is it? This bar right here. And I'll probably follow with the uh, exhaust. Um, yeah, just kind of freeing up some space, I guess. Brace right here. Um, this skin shield looking thing. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just kind of update you when I got some stuff taken off. Okay, so updates. I have the drive shaft off and all this metal bracing stuff, uh, the PPF bolts, and uh, basically all that's left is to um, unbolt the bell housing bolts and take it off. So yeah, I'll try to, I'll get that done tomorrow probably. I'm tired, I got a shower. I smell like farts and I gotta go to work so. Catch y'all tomorrow. Hello everyone. This is like day three. I don't really have much time to work on it each day, so I haven't gotten too far. But we still have the drive shaft out. We have all this metal bracing stuff out. Um, the power plant frame bolts are all out. And basically, if you look under here, the transmission is basically on the floor. You can't really see. It's dark, but transmission is like that. And then, <clears throat> yeah, the exhaust is in the way though, so I'm gonna have to try to take that off right now. And uh, hopefully that will allow enough room to take the transmission out and then replace the clutch and then throw it all back together so I can finally have a car again. So, I guess I'll just update you guys when the transmission's out, or something's out. Yeah. After many, many minutes of yet wiggling this bitch up, finally got it. Now, I've never seen anyone else take out the transmission to Miata without, without taking off the exhaust. And I have successfully taken off the transmission without disconnecting any of the exhaust except for a couple hangers. So I'm very proud of myself. However, I did not take it off because my bolts are completely fucked and they cannot come off. So I left them on and I just believed in myself. And I got it out without having to take off the exhaust. Now it would have been a lot easier if I did take off the exhaust, but like I said, the bolts were fucked. You know, if you run to the same situation, it is possible. You just have to like be patient and wiggle and get a pry bar and just, just like work it out. But however, I would not recommend doing this alone because it fucking sucks. Okay. And after further review, the clutch itself, parts of it doesn't look bad. Like up here around here, but this line goes all the way around. And on the outsides, it's really fucked. And also, my pilot bearing is very shot too. Like if you, I don't know if you can hear it. But it's making a lot of noise, and like it doesn't feel smooth. As the new one, you know, there's no noise at all. Smooth as butter. This one's like all, it's like all wobbly and fucking sounds like shit. And when I took off the clutch, the pilot bearing fell right out. So this, I don't know. It like wasn't even in the car, it seems like. But I got the new one. It's just the Exidy OEM replacement, nothing special. So I'm gonna throw this pilot bearing in and uh, I'm gonna get the clutch in there, line it. I guess trying to put that bitch back in, hardest part. So I'll see you when I get the clutch in or the transmitter or both in, I don't know. So last video I took was 
me putting the transmission back in. But I didn't film anything else because it's the reverse process. So, so basically, we're inside the car now. We bled the clutch. It feels incredibly different from what it used to. It's like really weird. <laughs> like it's, I've never, when since I own this car, the clutch has always been slipping. So it's never not been slipping. So we're about to see if it moves. All right. It goes in the gear. Oh, bro, it worked good. Oh shit, this is new. This is new to me. Before, before when I drove the car, when like the clutch, you didn't. It was like you didn't even have to like. Like uh, I don't know how to word it. Like basically, you could be at a stop in first gear and have the clutch out, and it wouldn't go any. Like it, it wouldn't stall out because like the clutch was shot. But just now, like, like bro, like it, it'd be grabbing out here. Ooh, it work! I've never driven this car like this. This is insane. It moves. Before it didn't move. <laughs> Except my speedo cable doesn't work. Now I know why my speedo cable doesn't work. Yeah, I think it's because when I was pulling the transmission, I accidentally broke some wires. You know, that's okay. So now you can't tell? I don't know how fast I'm going now. Oh, fuck. I just have to rewire the two wires, but I probably won't. Because, you know, yeah, speedo cable doesn't work. Are we going zero? Yeah, it's uh, basically I don't really care. I got this car for insanely cheap, so I don't really care. The speedo cable doesn't work. Kind of do, but at the same time, I'm just happy the car drives. Like it has power now. Oh, before it would just rev up to like 4,000 RPM and then it would start going. But like now, it's like actually driving. Date. The car works now and the clutch is in. And we'll see you next video. Goodbye.